don't worry. This show is documented. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. James Dillingpole is our guest, writes for multiple uh, international newspapers, best-selling author. we got five minutes left with him. Uh, James, uh, you were telling me off-air, though, and, and I mentioned it, but I want you to elaborate. Hmm. You know, they do this. They give Nobel prizes to Obama two weeks after he's elected. Or, or uh, I, I mean, they made the decision then. They 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 make Bernanke Man of the Year. They have uh, Prince Charles. You, you told me going to worship uh, the particular facility caught yeah. red-handed in Climate Gate. Yeah, he's gone to he's gone to tell the the people at the Climatic Research Unit that uh, that, that everything's okay. He says, "Well done, all of you," said our, our future king. So that's all right then. It seems that there was no climate fraud going on after all, because our Prince of Wales says so. It's a bit sad, isn't it? But there, was, there, there are so many powerful uh, people involved in this scam. And, uh, you know, what are we going to do about it? You, today, you've got the Spanish Minister of the Environment talking about when, the, when Spain takes over the presidency of the European Union, that uh, the fight against climate change and the steps that the U European Union must urgently take in order to apply the Copenhagen Accord. You know, the process moves on regardless... But their own report says that their windmill systems uh, made people lose 2.2 jobs that's for right. every... I love that fact, Alex. Yeah, that's right. For every green job that is created... 2.2 jobs are lost in the real economy. So you can imagine how my heart really leaps when I hear our future Prime Minister, David Cameron, who was supposed to be a Conservative, by the way, talking about how one of his priorities when he gets into power, when Gordon Brown goes, our ailing socialist polit Politburo chief, when he goes, uh, his replacement's priority is going to be to create green jobs. Yeah. But that's exactly what... Prince Charles, Prince Philip, Ted Turner, Jacques Cousteau, the UN, uh, uh, the, the, the individual uh, Maurice Strong, they all say they want to destroy industrial society. A Russian oligarch. You know, there are so many plutocrats with, who are exposed to carbon trading, which is why they are so desperate for, the, for, for Kyoto to be, um, you know, for the Kyoto carbon trading uh, uh, agreement to be ratified at, at Mexico this year. And our job, our main job, is for this to be stopped. We've got to derail this gravy train somehow, Alex. Can, can you do it? Can you help me? Sir, I'm absolutely trying. We have no future if we don't. But, but the point I'm making is they're on record saying they want to destroy jobs. They know cold-bloodedly they want to bankrupt everybody, so we're all dependent on their collective estate. I, I, yeah, I, I think there's, there's probably a grain of truth in that. It's a few powerful people trying to divvy up the economy for themselves and crush the ordinary folks like you and me. Well, that's a grain the size of, uh, you know, the size of Texas. I mean, it, it's, 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 every time I drill down to the base level, it's, it's population reduction. I mean, look yeah. what the Chinese said at Copenhagen. They said global one child policy. Yeah, well, it's, it's amazing how many of the people pushing ATW are also obsessed with the idea of reducing, reducing population. We've got a guy called Jonathan Porritt, uh, who is one of Prince Charles's advisors, and he is, uh, you know, a rampant, uh, deep green. And he is very keen on, on population control. We should all be limited to the number of, of children we have. A, there is essentially a, 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 a strong strain of misanthropy which runs through the hearts of many James, people. I tell you what, I know you've got to go. I've got a one-minute break. Come back and do about four minutes with us to finish up on the next stage of the fight because I want you to be able to finish on that. What's coming up in Mexico? Stay right there. We'll be right back in one minute. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother, mainstream media, 
government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, we've reached the halfway point here in this syndicated radio broadcast, Wednesday, the 27th day of January 2010. Hard to believe that the uh, first month of 2010 is almost over. I was rereading 1984 yesterday on air where O'Brien is torturing Winston. And he says, the party lives on forever. All that matters is that we succeed. And, of course, he'd been a communist and learned what, how they operated. And he wrote the uh, essay saying, this is what I really believe communism is going to do. And he also discovered that big financial interests were supporting it. That's why Eric Blair, pen name George Arwell, was so amazing. Okay, we got four minutes left with James Dillingpole, uh, and uh, he's here with us. Specifically, uh, we've we have wounded the snake, as uh, you quoted Shakespeare. We've the snake, but not killed it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so uh, their next battle plan, Gordon Brown has said, they're just going to circumvent it, get wealthy nations to go ahead and put the money into the UN. And uh, damn what the people want. Yeah, well, I mean, my great hope for America was that your Senate was going to scrap, was going to, was going to kill cap and trade. But, you know, Obama's going to get around that one by using the EPA. The EPA is, is, has, has decided to classify carbon dioxide as a poison. Uh, so it doesn't matter what the Senate thinks about it. You know, this is exactly the kind of liberal fascism that was practiced by FDR. And uh, Obama's using the same old tricks. Uh, I, I find that increasingly in America, as in as in in Europe, the, the the individual has very little control over what big government does to his life. Big government is becoming tyrannous. It is doing yeah. whatever it wants. So, what do we do ahead of uh, the uh, next big event they're going to have in Mexico? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Copenhagen was a flop. What we're going to see in Mexico in November is all the world leaders and all the eco-loons gathering together to try and really push for some hard legislation. But, of course, that means that we've got eight months in which to present the case further for more and more people, like the listeners of your show, uh, the readers of my blogs and so on, to discover just what a fraud this is. And I don't reckon that people are going to stand it. You know, already we've seen in Australia um, that the, the, the leader of the Australian Liberal Party got kicked out of his job to, for trying to push cap and trade because the voters didn't like it. And I think we're going to see more and more of this as people reacting against this scam and saying enough is enough. We will not be taxed. We will not be regulated in the name of a problem, man, bear, pig, that, doesn't, that was invented <laughs> by Al Gore. But man, bear, pig is real. It's half man, yeah, half bear, half right. pig. Yeah, yeah. Puchari yeah. says he's got a peer-reviewed report that he won't give us the data on that man, bear, pigs are endangered. Yeah. Yeah, I think the time has come to kill man, bear, pig, to scotch and kill man, bear, pig. Well, then it would be an extinct species, <laughs> yeah, like the yeah. unicorn. <laughs> yes, and then we have to feel very sad about it and, and blame ourselves like we did with the dodo. So ahead of what's happening in Mexico, we just yeah. need to continue, because it was the activists, the bloggers that pushed... The, and, and ran the blockade of the yeah. media blackout that we, first week or two on ClimateGate. We've got to run the blockade with all these new scandals. Yeah, none of this would have happened. These arguments would not be being heard were it not for the blogosphere and the radio shows like yours. Uh, you know, the MSM has been completely against us. You know, the whole system has been against us, trying to cover this scam up. i got to throw this in quick. Cass Sunstein, the... Uh, the Regulations are, in public policy papers, says it should be illegal to criticize man-made global warming. I don't know if you saw that. And I separately, did. Europe's been saying that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, of course, they would, rather, they would rather silence us using whatever means at their disposal. And this is why, you know, our freedom of speech on the Internet is more important to guard jealously than ever before, because our lives and our freedoms depend upon it. That is no exaggeration. JamesDillingPoll.com is the website. James... Always great having you on. I know we'll speak again. Uh, have a uh, have a great evening. Take care. Bye. -bye. Uh, speaking of internet censorship, Australia, um, Italy—they're all announcing Chinese-style censorship. That's coming up too.